So for this sunflower blanket pattern, um, we're going to be working on row 55, which in this case has 57 Aaron to start, then three green, then three Aaron, and then we'll be starting on the 20 green stitches next. It finishes out the row with 37 Aaron. Uh, as you can see, I use my post-it to kind of mark where I am in my pattern. Um, in this case, you know, I'm, I'm working uh, my way up this leaf and I'm to the section here where we've got uh, green and then Aaron and then green stem again. So in this case, I have already made the 55 stitches. I am on stitch 56 and um, I have gone with the lemon peel throughout the entire body of this blanket and I'm on a single crochet here. So my next stitch will be a double crochet and we'll work stitch 56 and then for stitch 57 you'll be starting the single crochet changing to green. The loop that is closest to your crochet hook here is going to make the loop across the top to finish. So we're going to pull the green through so that you can see that. And that finishes up stitch 57 here, but starts the green for the next three green stitches. So I've um, finished on a single crochet. My double crochet will be next. I have to carry my Erin um, yarn with me as I go through the green all the way over to the next part of the body. I don't want to have a lot of we um, ends to weave in, so I'm going to be carrying that along with me for the, the duration of this leaf. So I'm going to go double crochet first. And as you can see, I have sandwiched the Erin color in between. We're going to go single crochet next, and then double crochet for the third. And in this case, I'll be pulling through the first, yarn over and pull through. And again, you've got the two loops here. This loop will be finishing up stitch number um, 58, 59, 60. So stitch number 60 will be finished with this loop, but we need to start with Aaron next. I've got three of those stitches I need to do. And while I'm working with the Aaron color, I'll be carrying along the green in this case. So we did double, single, double. This one's going to be a single and then another double. And I need to make three of these because the gap for the leaf is getting bigger as we go. So the next one needs to be single. And this time we're going to be changing back to green again. So I'll be using those two loops that are on there to finish out those three Aaron stitches. But now I've got green on my hook for the next um, stitch that we're going to be making, the next double crochet that will be starting here. So I'll go double crochet and single, and I'm not going to be too um, concerned about the Aaron that's underneath there. We're going to snug that up when we get to the end of this. It needs to stay between um, the green, so it's still coming through the middle of the stitches. I'm carrying that along and I'll be changing back to it for the main body. Um, that's over to the left of the blanket here. So I'll continue going with single crochet and then double crochet, continuing in the lemon peel fashion. It's single, double, single, double. Single and a double. single and a double and I was not counting as I went along but we are to have 20 green here I happen to know it's one less um, than the row before so I'm gonna get careful as I get to the end and I'm gonna make sure that I've got 20 um, for my leaf here I had just ended with some uh, a yarn before, so I want to get that out of my way as I go. And then we're going to count up how many I've got here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 15, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. This is number 19. I need 20 to finish. Get this yarn out of the way so we can see. And we're going to 
finish this with a single crochet and then pull the body of the errand through. But before I do that, like I said, I want to kind of hold the last stitch that I had here just to make sure that I'm not pulling it completely tight. Um, on this end, I'm going to be snugging up the errand. You can kind of see a little bit of the ex excess that comes out. That'll keep it from poking through as much in the row. And I'm going to switch to the errand to get back to the body of the blanket. So I ended on a single crochet with green. I'll be moving to double crochet and this time I'm not going to carry the green along. I'm going to drop that green and just move along with this um, main part of the body. Um, the stripes of the blanket. Now some people will have a butterfly like this they might have a bunch of yarn that you I have practiced with this a little bit that you can um, just drop and then attach it to your blanket so that it um, goes along you know as you flip the blanket it kind of stays with the green part I have gotten pretty good at um, keeping my green my Erin and my white from the rest of the body of the blanket uh, separate um, and I keep it in a bin like this and I keep them all spooling down into my blanket so I am going to just drop that green and let it hang um, and continue working with this Erin color um, it is up to you whether you want to do the butterfly method or not